Adam, what are you doing here today? <laughs> oh, great. Um, yeah, so uh, we, as a, as a company and as a crew, we uh, wanted to get together uh, to run through some uh, scenarios of, of accidents at work. Um, so essentially, the whole crew, ground crew, climbers, everyone is involved. Um, just to run through the setup, um, what it looks like, how long it takes, um, just so everyone is aware in the crew, so we're all singing off the same hymn sheet. Um, so here we set up uh, a couple of climbing lines, and we went through a few scenarios, uh, the first one being the simplest form, um, which, but is very specific, um, which is a belay rescue. Um, where essentially we would just lower the climber down from the tree, not leaving the ground ourselves. Um, and then the second scenario, um, we were rescuing a casualty from within the tree. Mm -hmm. um, so we had to access from the ground, mm -hmm. uh, make a plan before we left, discuss how we would approach this on the job site, what the ground crew would have to do while mm -hmm. the rescuer went up the tree mm -hmm. um, and then we looked at the type of accident that occurred. Um, one was an uncon unconscious casualty and the other was a cut to the shoulder. Um, so both were quite different, um, both in different positions in the tree also. Um, and yeah, it kind of gave everyone a feel for how we would approach it if, if something if, were If, yeah, if something like that were to, happen, to occur. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, that's really good. No, it's been very interesting watching it. Thanks for having us. You're very welcome. Well, the old girl is doing a good job. So hopefully um, you'll never have to use what you learned today. Hopefully not, yeah. It's always good to have knowledge anyway. Oh, it is, it is. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Hit my head, I'm unconscious. Okay. From this point on, I'm not speaking and I'm not uh, commu being able to communicate with. Okay. Okay, Killian. After realizing you're after having an accident in the tree, I know you're, from the looks of it, you are unconscious, you're unresponsive. I'm going to lower you down and I'm going to keep talking to you. As you're coming down, I'm going to get Simon or Dean to guide you. Dean, maybe to guide you down first. So, we're going to clip on the system. Lower you down. Okay, so I have my system all clipped in here now. I'm ready to untie that, Killian, when you have your lanyard off.
And if there is somebody spare, then you can assist with supporting Killian when he gets to the ground as well. We don't know, we have to, someone that we have to assess. above me. I've come down, I'm doing some pruning here. Uh, I've got um, kickback on my saw and it's cut me on the top of my shoulder here. It's bleeding quite a bit. My left arm is quite painful. I can't really use it. I'm using my right arm to keep pressure on the wound. Dean, I'm going to need you to rescue me. Um, leave it up to you as you see fit there's an access line there so as you see fit to get me on the ground safely so, you, so lads if you want to there's no there's no time pressure in this just chat through it maybe have a chat among yourselves about what you think would be a good way to do it if you want to use that access line you want to set your own line my rope's undamaged so He has that. You're always going to check that, yeah. Put a stopper in the, in the bottom of it. If the rope has a V-line to the ground, the stopper knot could. If you could to, to pull up his line to a stopper knot, and there's a stopper knot in it, that yeah. can catch you out up there and get caught in the union or something. If you could bring it back up, and then, and yet you don't your have another, then your rope is used. Yeah. You, you could have, and then also, like, I know Killian has redirected up the top as he was obviously working the tree. Yeah. But you, I don't think like did you, we're, did we're, you shouldn't we're, need to walk that yeah, far. Yeah, but you don't have to think <coughs> essentially of oh he's redirected up there. Like there's no Killian is actually so far down here. The access line that's in the tree is a very good anchor point if you go up across that big limb. Yeah. Here. And you could drop right down and just run out that limb to kill you in and up to him. But then with your rope, the massive your rope, rope is ropes. pulling you back in. No, you, you can redirected. you can just put you can put that through the to the union there at the same if you can just redirect that like. Just use an agile redirect. Are you or down. you for both both of both of them drop through the crotch? One one each side of it. All right. You know. But then you. So like you don't need to go the whole way up and come through a union. I don't think like it might be different when you're up there, mm -hmm. but I don't think I don't think you would need to do that like. But like then the, how would you how would you drop one person one side to the one the other side? Because his his system is intact. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, you, you're gonna have to separate. How are you gonna hold of the crutch? So he's he's only injured his shoulder. So, and he has one arm on it, uh -huh. but like you, you can still, he's, he's yeah, not okay, unconscious, okay. so you can get him to position himself in whatever way you want, mm -hmm. and you just have to control his, his rope, like to get him down. It's the only thing he can't do. Is that right or wrong? Like you, like on the, my arm. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, that's the only thing. So the only thing Killian can't do is get himself down, but he can position himself or move himself in the tree if we can guide him. 
So we, but we have to take, we have to tend to the system. Look. Uh, well, like, uh, has, does anyone else see any? Or, like, I could be completely. I was, I was going to get up as far as far as I can. Yeah. Just my uh, redirect behind him. Yeah. If, if you want just the thing safety as well. Well, mm. in my like like position, what I would well, say is, I think the rest of will struggle to rescue me without a redirect. Above me, it doesn't be, have to be up as high as I am. I'm, I'm, I'm looking just at that limb there. Even, yeah, that's right. Even, even the same limb well, we can here, redirect that one to the across the from there. You know, mm. I think the extra time going up a little bit higher will uh, pay back a lot more without having to like struggle to scramble out through, through all this stuff. You, you're already in a swing position back to the stem, isn't it? We've got like a deadwood here and stuff that's going to be dislodged if you try and run past it. Uh -huh. oh, this thing over here. Oh. It yeah. looks like it's a, it's a nice, yeah, that limb was just above him. It's kind of easy enough scramble. Yeah. Except the redirect further behind him. So that way your line is this way, his line that way. Yeah. Both, both of us can come down. Easy to go swinging out. From inside the station line here. Do you look up Do you head up that? That's good. Yeah. Do you think it's a good one? Yeah. Order. Thank you. Thank Up there, Adam, for a minute. Uh, Simon. Simon. Yep. We got you over here. Uh, Arius, sir. Pete. So, my man. Just watch out. You're below that dead one, Adam. Yeah. Dean is the Dean is obviously making his way to the casualty, but before any of that would have happened, we'd be looking at the, the site and looking at what we could see here. Yeah, yeah. Um, you could 
be so you'd be assigned like when an accident would occur, you would be assigned a few jobs to do off the risk assessment. So like desi uh, a designated um, person to meet the paramedics. Yeah. Um, you would give GPS coordinates, you would watch rewards, um, you would talk to talk to the paramedics about heads what up, heads do. up! Yeah. what the injury might be, suspected to be, um, that you can uh, keep them on the phone as well and, and talk to them, talk them through possible procedures on the ground or can get all those data applications. So when you ring them, when an accident actually occurs, then stay on the phone and then go through that. Everything that like, they want to hear, they'll keep talking to you. and look behind the yeah. yeah, lads, the, as I said before, this situation, my, my rope isn't damaged, but we still want to do a bridge to bridge, just keep us close together and stop me like if he loses control we will stop me swinging it back that way. So we'll get that on quick enough. Is there a specific distance or not really it's it's kinda whatever you think. Like I'm I'm saying I'm telling him to shorten it up a bit just so we can get more control because he's a bit a little bit far away there. Mm -hmm. There's no specific distance, it would be very situational for what you need to do. I have no use for my arms here, so he's going to have to guide me somewhat down, so he's going to want me close, close into it. <coughs> um, if there was other... Uh, Cinch your lanyard off the stem mm -hmm. and bring it out and use it as a floating redirect yep. and flip mm -hmm. that on above your system and you can tension it up to keep you in a certain so that then there's no swing. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, and then because you will have come down in a chosen line, um, you can go bridge to bridge anyway. But um, you don't need to you don't need to worry so much mm -hmm. about trying to find the redirect. Mm -hmm. um, but that's only if your lanyard is long enough and there's a suitable limb that you can use. But then you have to leave it the lanyard leave them behind. Yeah, but yeah. You're not worried about that. You're not. Yeah. 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 Um, well, I am. <laughs> you can go back <laughs> and get it when he's gone off the hospital, like if you want. Yeah. What? You can go back up and get it when he's gone off in the ambulance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> just, just no, just to save time. Yeah. You can swap it out for one that's lawler for the investigation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can just hold on there. 
and just clip it on above my system here. And yeah, it will just float and you'll yeah. come away from it. You yeah. know, when you keep tension on it, it will hold it in a certain position and then you, yeah. when, once you start to drop down. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. as we are, we're both are further on the limb than our redirect. So yeah. when we step off, we're going we're gonna to swing in. Yeah, yeah. And that swing will carry us into that dead one. I know, I know. If it's not the show. But then uh, you need to make sure to put that as low as you can. Because that, once you travel down, they'll stay up, isn't it? They'll slide up the rope, they'll stay up the rope. Uh, how do you mean? Well, go on, you, you put it on, you put it on. I think when, you, when you're gonna go down, that's gonna stay up higher and then... Ah, yeah, but it doesn't matter, you're gonna leave everything behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, 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 it's all good, but... We can figure, we can figure yeah, these things out. I thinking about uh, removing it. You don't, you don't, we're not saying you have to put your lanyard around, but we're saying for positioning and moving me around because my arms aren't useful. Yeah. I think in this situation it probably will be good because Sabine's able to trail me a bit better. Right. Specifically, it's a good example because Dean has to use both hands to tend both systems, so yeah. he can't really. They've <laughs> 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 gone wobbly from waiting so long. <laughs> Oh, 